Oh my gosh, is she in labor? She's in trimester three. I think she might be in labor. Should we go to the hospital? Welcome back. I'm Kelsey and I love colorful things. So we're playing the not so very challenge So I've been trying to like keep up with your guys's comments on like what you want to see in the show And I didn't realize from week to week it would change so much the week before you were really into Catalina as the mother and then the week next you guys were into Desiree and I actually agree with you guys I think Desiree would have made a really good mother because I do think she would have been the type to like drop off the kids with him However, I moved forward with one mother over the other because I was basing it off the week Prior's comments because I do have to film a little bit ahead in order for things to run smoothly and to release my videos on time So I normally don't get to see the prior videos comments before filming the next videos comments if that makes sense So I don't even know if you guys liked my decision at the end of the day But uh, we just got to move forward unfortunately with the choices that I have made <laughs> I think today we'll be graduating from college We'll be moving into our needs TLC apartment which I'll be showing you guys soon and we'll be having the kids I think so I I'm excited to start like kind of the meat of this journey. College was like a little fun escapade, but now I'm ready to roll. You know, I'm ready to move out. I don't know if we've met the love of his life yet. I feel like we might maybe download even more Sims. So if you are interested in making some Sims for that, maybe like his end game final love, make sure to use hashtag Kelsey Not So Very and put those Sims in the gallery. And two episodes from now, I'll look at those. <laughs> okay, is this someone from with pizza? It is pizza delivery. Oh, here's our pizza. Oh, nice. We got our kebab pizza. I forgot that I ordered that last episode. Perfect. Okay, he's gonna go to sleep though. Well, we'll put our pizza in the fridge then. He's like very tired and Katrina is very, very flirty. Oh, good for you, Katrina. She's a geek foodie, quick learner, creative. How cute is she? And she's a little older than Foxberry actually. That's interesting. Fox is going to bed though. Voodoo pain, wait a second. Is someone have a voodoo doll of Catalina? I wonder who would have a voodoo doll of Catalina. Ooh, so spooky. Wait, does he have any classes? He took his final exam. So we need to submit our term paper. We didn't submit our second term paper. Oh shoot, okay, okay, okay. University, coursework, term paper, submit. Which one is it? Sizing up schematics. I don't think we've submitted that. Nope, we did not. But we did submit understanding underlings. So we just gotta submit our last term paper. I'm sorry you're exhausted. You know, it's hard work making children and doing college, I'm sure. And he's so smelly. And he's so hungry. Wow, we really did a number on this. Poor man. Did you submit your final term paper though? Yes! Listen, okay? We are making sure that crime does pay and that it pays well, kind of, but not really. Because he does need to be living paycheck to paycheck once he moves out. Let's go to sleep. How did we get an F on understanding underling? I did all of my homework and everything and I submitted the term paper. And then we got an A plus and an A minus. Was it because we kept being late to that class? I cannot believe we failed that class. But either way though, we still just got an A minus. So it's fine. I don't know how he didn't get a good grade in the class. I'm going to pretend that it's just because he doesn't care about underlings. I don't need to understand them. And then he got F'd on that class. We need one more class to graduate. No, we don't. Cause we failed the class. We failed failed the class so we have to retake it? Are you freaking kidding me? That's fine, we'll still move out. We'll just finish that class from home or whatever. This is so annoying, what the heck? Yeah, we're moving off campus. I don't wanna live off campus anymore. This is so stupid. We're moving out, all right, so we need to pack up anything that we want. I don't think there's anything we can just like pack up, to be honest. You know, I'm gonna take everything we can with us because we'll need the money. I don't know if we'll be able to afford the apartment that I'm like, wanting us to have. Yeah, I'm gonna just sell all the books. It might not be the best decision, but it's a decision. We gotta move out. We're taking all the books in this bookcase and we're selling them. Yeah, I don't think this 4,000 simoleons really gonna do much in order to help us move into this needs TLC apartment. It might though, like it might be okay. I'm a little nervous. We, if we have to move in and have none of the furniture, then we move in and have none of the furniture, you know, it's fine. Yeah, we're just picking up anything we can pick up around this apartment and selling. Oh, that, yeah. Oh, 
that's 900 simoleons. See, we're getting there. We're getting there. Yep, I think that's all we can sell. He is really hungry. He's got to get some of that lobster thermidor at some point. Can't believe we're moving out, and I can't believe we have another semester of college. I'm so annoyed. I for sure submitted the Understanding Underlings term paper. We should have made that class. We're moving out. Oh, can she not come with us? What? We'll move her out with us, I suppose, later. That is all my money, lady. So she didn't move out with us. <laughs> Cool. I guess we're moving. Wow, this is not how I expected this to go. I really thought we were gonna graduate. Oh gosh, we don't have enough money for the furnished version of this lot. So I'm gonna do it unfurnished. It was so cute. It was a really cute apartment, but you know what? It'll be more like rags to riches this way that we have to furnish the apartment with whatever money we got. If you wanted to see what the apartment did look like in the past, you can go check it out on my Twitch channel when I decorated it painstakingly so. Okay, nothing is going according to my plans. Everything is fine. So he is uncomfy. He literally was like woken up. All of his needs are bad. And where's our apartment? This is it. Oh my God. It's so empty. This is the apartment. We're good gonna live in. So this is like the kids room. This was like his room. This is the bathroom. And this is like the living kitchen dining area. So here's here's the house. You can see there was, was a dead body there. Oh my gosh. What are his needs right now that he needs? Ladder and hunger. Great. So we need at least a refrigerator and then we need the bathroom probably to be done. Oh my gosh. This is so funny. Bathroom, bathroom, bathroom. All right. So we got toilet. What's the cheapest shower bath combo? I guess we'll do the blue because we, we do a lot of like blue and orange combinations. Oh, we need lights in this house as well now that I'm thinking about it. Oh my God, I'm so stressed. But this is good. It's good for the plot. It's good for the plot, okay? We'll make it work. We'll make it work. There we go. So that'll be fine. We're gonna have a mirror and then we're gonna have sinks. So we have like the toilet and the sinks. Maybe we'll get a little toilet paper roll next to the toilet. It's kind of necessary. It's not that necessary, but it's a little necessary. There, you know? Here we go. I just don't think that shower curtain works. That shower just feels right. Oh, it's a lot more expensive. I don't care. I think it's funny to waste money on the shower, okay? I think it's funny. Let's try for a bed now. We can do the used futon. Excellent. And then we have enough money for the rest of the kitchen, I think. I think I used this for the kitchen last time, so I'll probably do that again. Oh my gosh, we're running low on funds. Little nervous here. If we like delete one of these, can we pop in one of those? We can. Although maybe, maybe it looks better like this. There you go. And then we might want a little guy here to be like, um, excuse me, the house is on fire and we're almost out of money. So that's great. Oh my gosh. We have no money. We need to get a job, but we're at college. We're not going to make any money this way. Ooh baby. This is not good. Think, Kelsey, think. We could ask our parents for money and try to just cop free stuff. It's fine. We're going to be fine. I know I could sell some of the stuff I just put in the apartment, but I want to make it challenging for myself. So I'm not going to do that. We're going to just struggle and it's going to be great. So I feel like there is food in here. <gasps> Wait, that means that we can have our baby. Although we can't really afford the pet right now. Okay. At this point, I'm thinking we should sell the guitar. As much as I love the guitar, I think we need to sell it. I'm going to sell the other little like random collectibles I have in my inventory. I've been waiting for this day. You know, it's not ideal, but it is what it is. So because I want enough money so that we can actually have flame back to our family. I need to be able to afford my baby and my babies, my future babies. But Catalina apparently did not want to move in with us. I kind of don't blame her. I'm going to say that that was the reason why we tried to have her move in with us when we were leaving campus and she said no. So I have a feeling that is the reason why maybe she ends up giving him the kids. I don't want to be in a relationship with you. I don't even really want to raise kids. And he's like, you know what? I, I will raise the kids. It's fine. We're going to move our sweet baby angel flame out. Boom, baby. Yes, flame. We got flame back, baby. We got flame back. All right, flame, come on inside. Good job, flame. Let's also fill flame's bowl. And we need a bed probably for flame. The bed can go here. I feel like the ball was so cute for flame. We'll keep it anyway. We'll just do a table and chairs because we do not have the funds. I think this is probably what we're gonna do. We could maybe get a couch. I just don't know how it's gonna fit into the house because it's so big, but I really want it. Maybe here, we'll put the bowl here. We'll put this here. And then we could maybe do this like 
that. I'm trying to figure out like how to spatially organize this, but then we could get that eventually and that might work in the house. We'll work on maybe getting a TV, but I think we might need a computer, but we could always go to the library. Maybe we just save it for food. I'm being a little bold. Look at, oh my gosh, my baby's got the zoomies. My baby's got the zoomies. So happy in a new house. I'm so happy that we live with Flame again. I missed Flame so much. Part of me just wants to cheat Flame. I feel like we were cheated out of a lot of Flame's life, you know, because of school and because of my own actions, you know. I can... Also, speaking of my own actions, I'm repping the merch today and you can get it too if you're interested. There's a link in the description of this video. So he's feeling pretty good because he's getting a full ride, which is nice. Oh my God, look at Flame just passed out in the way. Thank you, Flame, in the bathroom. So we're gonna do our homework and then and I think we're just gonna go to sleep. It's Saturday. Oh God, I'm so annoyed that we missed one course credit. I was like, it's fine if we failed that. No, it wasn't fine that we failed that. I feel like I could cheat it again, but I won't. It's our own fault that we failed. I don't know how we failed, but we did. So we're fixing it now. Oh, I love when Flame gets underneath the couch. It's so cute. Wait, I need to know how many days left. Three days left. I'm gonna give us back all of the elder days of Flame. This way we have like a week. We can complete our homework. We do need to submit the term paper, but we're tired. So we're, we're gonna go to sleep. Tomorrow, we'll probably go to the library and write our term paper. I just wanna get it all out of the way, okay? I cannot believe it. I thought we were starting our career today. Ooh, it's fine, I'm fine. We're in this tiny apartment. Oh my God, did Flame just pee in the house and throw up? What is happening? Flame, what is happening? Why is this house so disgusting? Oh my God, it's school spirit day. Wow, thanks. Far very campus for a million notifications. I don't really have much school spirit today. Oh, Flame is definitely sick right now. All right, let's give a vet treat to Flame because Flame is getting sick and vomiting and peeing everywhere and it's not good. Look, the whole apartment is disgusting. It's okay, Flame. It's okay, you poor thing. Has my family not been taking good care of you? I swear, all right? We're gonna give you a bath. We're gonna make you feel all better. There we go. We're giving you a bath. He's gonna be such a good dad. Dad, except for we will have no money, but we will have love and that's what matters. And also villainy. We're not perfect. Clearly because we failed a flipping class. I wish I could have cheated to make the grade better. All right, we're gonna clean up all the messes from flame. And this is definitely where a dead body was buried. He's having a nice grilled cheese. Oh, it's New Year's Eve. Wait, this is kind of sad that this is New Year's Eve and we're just spending it by ourselves in this new apartment that's not very nice with like no furniture. This was messy to be. Flame, you and I, we're going to the library. Oh, we're thinking about our dad. We could go to mom and dad's house to use their computer, but let's travel. We're gonna take Flame with us. We're going to go to Brightchester. We're gonna go to the library. Oh my gosh, the people are on the computers. Fine, there's more computers over here. That is not a computer. Excuse me, you're on chat rooms. No judgment, but I actually need to do my term paper. Coursework term paper, write term paper for understanding underlings, which I did turn in. It's fine. Where's Flame? Let's just watch Flame chilling. Ah, drinking out of a puddle. Living the dream, Flame. Fox is dutifully writing his term paper. Even before a term has begun, we're working on that. So very impressive, honestly. None of you guys' other Sims have showed up. Just keeping an eye out. You know, you never know. Amethyst called and wants to go to the room of the festival. Mom, I miss my mom so much. At least he's socializing. Ooh, he's leveled up his logic skill. Good job. How's Flame? Flame's running. Flame's having a nice little jaunty walk around the campus. Flame's on the loose. We love that for Flame. I do not know where you're going. Where are you going? <gasps> It's Catalina! Oh my God, Catalina is right here looking pretty pregnant, which is good. Flame's still running. Do not know where Flame's going. If you're running away, Flame, I'm gonna be very sad. All right, we finished the first draft of the term paper. We're gonna edit the term paper now. We're on the road to fame. I don't know why. Oh, he created a social media profile. Oh my gosh, what if he becomes like this weirdly famous social media influencer slash villain? Drop everything, Flame needs something. What do you need, Flame? You're just sad. Oh, you just need cuddles. Of course you do, sweetie. Let's give 
give you some loving. We're gonna give you every love that you deserve. Flame actually kind of does remind me of my dog a little bit. My dog also just kind of will come up to me and be like, I need attention, mom. So cute. He's definitely practicing for when he has kids, which he will have very soon, which will be good. But it won't be good because he will be still in college and I'm not excited about that. We can't fail this class again. We have to succeed. We're gonna submit it now. We've done our homework. So we don't have class until Tuesday. What are we gonna do with ourselves until then? We can't get a job, can we? Let's see if we can have a job on top of it. Maybe we can. But the problem was like we need the degree in order to have the high up job. Yeah, we just start at the bottom. So we don't have our degree yet. We could be fast food employee for now. It's only like a week. That way we just make a little bit of money. We're gonna do that. I think it's gonna be okay. All right, we joined a career just, just to make a little bit of money so we can furnish our apartment and pay for our growing family. But we know in our heart, okay? We're gonna be a mob boss someday. We're putting in all the work so that we get to skip through that part of the challenge. So we need master baking and charisma skills. So we can work on that, cool. So let's work on our charisma skills. Let's do a cheerful introduction. We'll work on him on this librarian, which would be very funny. We're already level eight, so it shouldn't be that hard, right? We'll just keep brightening her day and complimenting her fit. Oh, we can flatter her too. This is going very well. Although it is New Year's, we should probably like celebrate. Maybe we'll celebrate with our friends. New Year's Eve was awful. It's already over. It's 2 a.m. I spent the whole night at the library. Sometimes you gotta do that, you know, when you're in school. Okay, well, that was a bust. We're gonna have all of our friends over. We're gonna give them keys to the apartment so they can come over whenever they want. She's bored with us, but we were getting close with charisma. Maybe, no. What just happened? Who just died? Who died? Was it a good friend? <gasps> Kumiko died? Shut up. I thought it would have been my dad first. Oh my God, Kumiko just died. <gasps> She was gonna be my right-hand woman. We went into the bathroom stall to cry. Are you freaking kidding me? We just made Kumiko a friend of my family. This sucks, it was an awful holiday. I was literally just thinking that we'd invite Kumiko to our house, oh my God. God, we had all these plans. This is tragic. It is the dark times. We are in the darkest timeline for poor Foxberry. Maybe let's go home. You can work on your evil speeches at home. Maybe that'll cheer you up. Come on, Flame. It's so sad. Oh my God, that was his best friend in college. Aw, hopefully he'll make new friends in the career. Oh my gosh, that's so sad. Maybe we should bake something, like some like emotional baking would be probably good. What would he bake? Maybe some cereal marshmallow squares? Sounds good. Poor baby. We'll call Flame in here. Good job, Flame. Oh my gosh, this sucks. 4 a.m. we're baking. Ugh. I am devastated. Who's gonna be my right-hand person now? She was in my classes and everything. We reached baking level five though. At least that's good. We're halfway through baking. Confide your problems to Flame. Flame's here for you, bubby. Flame never got to meet her. He'd be like, Flame, you would have loved her. You guys would have been best friends. Hopefully that makes him feel a little better. Yeah, no, he's gonna be mourning her for two days. He's also really tired. We'll put you to bed soon. We're gonna feel the love from Flame, then we're gonna go to sleep. Oh, dang it. It's family movie night too. Oh my gosh, the tragedy. This sucks. I cannot believe she died. I wonder how she died. Catalina wants to go on a date. I mean, we're not in the mood, but we'll show up. Oh my gosh, she's so pregnant. Wait, how pregnant? pregnant are you? She's definitely in trimester too. Let's go flatter her. Let's brighten her day. Yeah, she's sad too. I bet I bet she was also friends with my roommate. Discuss our sad mood. Maybe she wanted to be with him. Oh, you know what? That's really cute. It says ask her like to pursue her dream job. She, I think she's excited about the kids, but I think maybe her dream job, she will want to move somewhere. Like she can't have the kids with her. I think she'll still be a part of their lives. Like I think she'll still want to come over, but I think it might make more sense. Oh, she's like, it's been one of those days. I prefer to talk about something else. Compliment her outfit. Be like, your outfit's so cute. Doing everything we can to level up our charisma skill. We're getting pretty close. She's letting him feel the babies. Oh, they're so cute. He's giving her a nice kiss. But we'll give her an apartment key so she can come over whenever she wants. That'll be good. She accepted our, our key. Yes!
Level nine of the charisma skill. We did it. We can now ask Sims for a large loan. Mm. Sneaky, I like it. And we got a, a nice new sentiment. Deeply connected, closer from happy memories and growing closer from quality time. That's so sweet. Oh, that makes me happy. Oh, he's sad again. Oh, was so sad. He slipped back into it. He's gonna go grill chicken chimichurri skewers. If you're hungry, I, I guess that makes sense. He's gonna go grill, I think over here. Can she come with? Us? Wow, I do not know where you're going. This is kind of far away. Oh, okay. We're over here. We're gonna resume our chimichurri skewers, but we're gonna have Catalina come over. We'll cook for you, Catalina. Feed you into babies. This is a pretty spot. I actually haven't had my Sims go over here. Let's grab a serving together with Catalina whenever she arrives over here. Ooh, the chimichurri. What a spread here. Oh, and you should talk about family movie night. Be like, oh, Sundays used to be family movie night for my mother and her family. So we did it sometimes for our family too. Too. Complain about classes. Oh, definitely complain. Because we are still in class when we don't need to be. He's going to have a deep conversation. I had such a great time with you. Let's do it again soon. Oh, okay. Bye, Catalina. That was very quick. Just in and out. And then we're left alone. We're feeling a little better after spending some quality time with Catalina. You know, we tried to ask her about her hopes and dreams for the future and she felt uncomfortable talking about it. Makes me think that maybe, you know, she, she doesn't really want to have the kids for her herself. Maybe she envisions something different for her life, even though she wants to have the kids, but she just doesn't want to maybe like be the main parent that they live with. And she definitely still likes dating Foxberry, but isn't ready for a commitment from him. He doesn't strike me as a commitment type of guy yet, or maybe ever, to be honest. We might not have an end game with Fox. We might just have a bunch of different people that he dates throughout his life, you know? That's okay. A forever bachelor. It's all good. But you know what? I do kind of want to give him a bit of a makeover. He's moved into his own place. He's not in college anymore. I mean, he is in college now, but you know what I mean. So we've had this hair for a minute. I'm wondering if maybe we might want to make it shorter. This one just always seems like him to me. So maybe we'll go back to that. I still like all the rest that we've got going on. Maybe maybe it's outfit time. Maybe we'll go more into like our bad boy era, you know? Although I was hoping to do this makeover when he like officially became a criminal boss man. But you know what? Dress for the job you want, not the job you have. This might be nice, just like a little change of pace. I know this is like his party look, but I kind of like it because that way we have just a little bit something different. We'll go into like more of like a business look for when he joins the mob career, but I just wanted a little like refresh, just something new to look at. We could also add some more tattoos if we want. Yeah, this like back tattoo of a snake around a sword or something is kind of cool. So we'll, we'll add that to his cool. tattoo collection. Cool, looking stylish, my friend. Love the new Foxberry look. You know, just a little bit changed. I think once he joins the criminal career, he might like go for something entirely different because he tries to fit into the criminal career, but he's not quite there yet. He's still kind of in college, unfortunately. Let's go to bed. It's 4 p.m. His sleep schedule is super off, but he is in mourning, so it makes sense of a sort that he would just be sleeping through the day for the most part. Theo Paris passed away too. Oh no. Oh no. Oh wow. Oh gosh. This is gonna go even longer. Theo passed away. I knew we should have gone home. He's just gonna cry in bed. Oh my gosh. This is rough. These are dark days for our poor baby. Let's refill this bowl here for flame. And then I think we might just want to go home. We're gonna bring flame as well. And we're gonna go back to the family house. I feel like also so I kind of want to get Slate married. I want to throw the wedding, but also I feel like I need to focus on getting him finished with school. But technically if we did the wedding on Monday, we wouldn't miss it because class is on Tuesday. Can we plan the wedding? We can't plan the wedding, right? Yeah, I, I can't, I can't plan it myself. I'd have to like play as these characters, which I guess I could, you know? We need something happy in these Sims lives. These poor babies. Oh, is this Theo's? Yep, that's Theo's. All right, let's grab Theo's stuff here. Oh, who's crying? Is that? Oh my gosh. It's Violet. Poor Violet. I feel like these two are don't see eye to eye anymore because Slate is good and Fox is evil. But, you know, I bet they're trying. Let me ask him for advice. Console about death. They're just trying to bond together, these two. The other relationship's like, okay. It's not amazing. And of course we're happy because we're around a bunch of miserable people. There's our sweet girl. Aww. 
See, even his friendship with Violet's like way stronger than his friendship with Slate. And then his friendship with Indy is I think the best. No, Violet and him are the closest. Oh. That's so cute. I love that Violet and him are close. The very children all together again. Maybe we should bake something for everybody. That's our normally our go-to lately is baking everybody something. We have to have specific ingredients to bake those things. That sucks. Lame. In that case, we will be making our signature peanut butter cookies. Look at all of these. All these family photos of mom when she's young. Ugh, it's so it's awkward. She just doesn't want to be cheered up right now. I think tomorrow we'll just have the wedding. I'll just play a slate and I'm gonna do the wedding and it's gonna be nice. And Fox will be there and we're gonna have a good time. Call everybody to the cookies. Be like, I made them for you all. And then go use the bathroom. And then you need some fun. Maybe you could like shoot some hoops with the boys and the girlies. Why don't we like challenge, shoot a hoops competition, Violet, Slate, and Indy. And we'll just, all the kids will play basketball together in the backyard for old time's sake to get their fun up. It is like midnight, little midnight basketball never hurt anyone. I'm sure Indy's always up for a little midnight basketball. Look at us all. And all of them love fitness. Actually, no, Violet loves fitness too. I forgot that she used to work out with her dad. She wasn't as much of a basketball person as she was like a weights person, which is similar to me, but it is what it is. They're doing it. It looks like a slate didn't go inside. He's not as interested in playing the game together, but the rest of them are working on it. Ooh. Ooh, sorry, Violet. No dice. Okay, Indy's up next. I feel like Indy's gonna nail it. No, Indy did not get it. Oh, Indy. What? None of us are all that good at basketball, apparently. Come on, Violet. It's your turn. There she is. Sunk it. Look at the, her brothers cheering her on after she got that basket. So cute. Their fun's going up at least, so that's nice. It looks like the game is over. Let's go to bed. Honestly, we're gonna just go to bed in our old bed tonight. And when we wake up tomorrow, it'll be the wedding. We're gonna have the wedding. We need something happy this episode. I need the wedding, okay? Oh, even Flame is coming, sleeping in the room with us. Sweet baby. Oh, we owe 300 simoleons for our lot. Ugh. It's Monday. It's the start of term. We need to pay our bills, but we don't have class till tomorrow at three. We also don't have work today. So today is literally the perfect day. I am going to save here and we gonna have a wedding. We're gonna spend this Monday having a wedding because we deserve it. The wedding of Slate and Reed must happen. We've been waiting for this. I also feel like Reed, it's time for Reed to move out on his own. So let's do it, baby. I hope that Fox is still in the house when I start playing as him. I'm assuming he will be. Yeah, no, Fox is in the house. Excellent. Okay, so we are very uncomfortable. Oh God, our needs are so bad. I'm gonna just quickly. No one had to see that. Oh my gosh, let's ask Violet to be my sim of honor. Violet, will you be my sim of honor at the wedding? She's like, of course I will be. All right, we're gonna go ask Indy to be ring bearer and then we're gonna just have this wedding, baby. Oh, Indy loves it. Oh, a nice brotherly hug. Let's land a wedding event. I wonder if he could get married in the same place that Purple Jen got married. At least everyone's in a pretty good mood now because of the wedding. So the bride or groom of obviously Reed and Slate. Eee! Okay, Sim of Honor is Fox and Violet. And the officiant, we don't have one. Flower Pal, we don't have one. Ooh, and Ring Bearer was Indy. Guests, we don't know Fox's girlfriend. Sterling and Ash are obviously invited. Cordell, Dylan. Oh, we do know Roman, that's random. And Annie, we know Roman, Annie, and Desiree. That's weird. It's just gonna be a family affair. So we're gonna have a spousal kiss, an exchanging of vows, and a walk down an aisle. Have a first dance. Ooh, we gotta edit Reed's outfit. Reed, no, no, this is not the outfit for you. This gives me Reed energy. I feel like Reed would wear something like this to the wedding. Oh, this one's kind of cute. He could do a rainbow version. Or the navy. Uh -huh. I like the navy on him. That's sweet. Okay, we'll do that with some navy shoes and then we'll do some socks. Those ones are kind of fun. They're like a navy argyle. Those are fun. You know, it's Reed. Of course he's gonna dress all cute like that. And Slate's gonna be all like handsome. I cannot believe this happened. Dress code is gonna be polished. The location we're gonna get married. Let's do purple for mom because we miss her. She'll be there in spirit. Not literally though, okay? There's not gonna be ghosts at this wedding that I know of. <laughs> Happy wedding, everyone! 
Are we kidding? Where are we not in our outfits? Hello? Literally no one is in their outfits but Reed. Good on you, Reed. Can we all change, please? Why, Sterling, why are you naked showering at my wedding? At least these two kind of dressed for the occasion. Everyone, please take your seats. It's time for the wedding. This is so beautiful. Wait, where's Fox? Foxberry, where are you? Fox isn't here. He didn't come. You are a sim of honor on the wedding. This is so odd, but it's fine. It's fine. He's here. I think he's still in the wedding, so it's gonna be fine. He's in his fancy wear as well now, too. So, okay, let's send down the aisle two sims. We're gonna send down. No, we'll just we'll just have it. Exchange vows and kiss. Boom. Come in, losers. We're exchanging our vows. Oh my gosh, look at these two. They're walking down their aisle. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're crying. These two are getting married. They're promising to love each other. He's putting the ring on. Oh, they just kissed. Yes. Okay, perfect. They're gonna walk back down the aisle. These two are married officially. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed. This is so cute. We're gonna have our first dance. Everyone gather, gather. Okay, Fox, please stop. Fox is already breaking down the dance floor. We're proud of him. Oh, they're having their first dance. The two, they're so sweet. Look at him gazing into Reed's eyes. Oh, what a cute couple they are. I love them so much. How funny that they met through Foxberry. So sweet. And look at Cordell Ito just breaking it down on the dance floor. And he's getting a coffee. That's absolutely hilarious. Let's have Reed give a speech. He's making a speech right right now, but some people are talking through it and no one's really paying attention. Oh my gosh, and now Sterling Berry is going to go shower in the rain. Okay, you know, my Sims are a little weird. It's fine. He's feeling very happy. Ooh, they should take a photo together on their wedding day. Violet's breaking it down on the dance floor. I'm glad we had this. Oh, look at these two. Little wedding day selfie. Slate's giving a nice speech about, you know, having fallen in love with his brother's best friend at a bunch of parties. They're so cute. Look at these. Looks like Fox maybe bounced out early though. I'm not seeing him anymore at the wedding. But this was nice. It's Monday, 2 p.m. We got a little wedding done. Indy's cleaning up. I think it was perfect. Congratulations on your new marriage. Would you like to move in together now? Yes. Reed's gonna move in with Slate. And I guess they'll all just live together even though I felt like they might want to move out by themselves, but at least, you know, now he'll move in with them. Maybe they'll move out together and, you know, live somewhere else, but they're married at least which is sweet. I'm kind of surprised Violet is not more serious with her beau. Is she still dating that guy? Wendell. <gasps> Wendell's yeah. dead? Wendell died too? Wait, what the heck? Her boyfriend died. That is so tragic. I think this is like part of my mods that sometimes people when they're young die still. Poor Violet. No wonder she's just going through it. Uh, well, we're gonna leave this family here. We're gonna go back to Fox and his story, even though it's kind of fun playing with the other fairies. But not gonna lie. But we need to focus because we're gonna be having kids soon. We need to start hustling, making sure we're ready for school tomorrow. We home, we're very sad. He did just come back from the wedding. As you can see, he's in the suit. We're gonna go pay our bills really quick. Excellent. We paid our bills. We can go cry it out. Wait, where happened to all his money? I thought he had at least 600 simoleons. Now we only have 300 simoleons. That is not good. Oh, cause we just paid our bills. That's why we don't have any money. Great, love it. Maybe a jog will help his mind. What if we like, oh, it's gay night. Oh, my not girlfriend is here. Oh my gosh. Is she in labor? She's in trimester three. I think she might be in labor. Should we go to the hospital? Come on in if it's game night. Well, I don't have any games is the unfortunate truth of it, but ask the baby's due date. Oh my gosh. He's panicking. I think we should just add her to my family really quick. I think she's having the babies right now. She is in labor. Yep. I was right. I have the baby at the hospital. We were going to join her. Fox is going to come with her. I know it's a friend's hang, but we, you know, I'm Sorry, we're gonna we're gonna have to end that early because we gotta have a baby at the hospital. She's like, wanna play a game? No, girl. Why are we still chatting? Why is she still stalling? I think she's in denial. All right, we're gonna join. We're gonna go now, right? Okay, good. Oh my gosh, we're having the babies. Everything's happening at once. A marriage, babies, everyone dies. He is a panic. I was gonna have him go without on a jog. I'm glad that didn't work out. All right, where's she going? He's gonna go try to give himself a little pep talk. Oh. 
That's so sad. Okay, okay. Where is she going? She's going to this room. All right, we're gonna go here. He is panic running, and he also has an attractiveness alert about Catalina. Of course he does. He's walked in the room. She's he's like she's never been more beautiful. Oh my god, we're having babies. We're having babies. T pose. Oh my gosh, Foxberry is becoming a father. This is not a drill. We are having the twins. We are having some pre paternal. It's a girl. Oh my gosh. Okay, well we're gonna have the last name Barry. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, I forgot. We have to have two pink Sims. Pink themed names for girls. I think I'm gonna go Roseberry is our firstborn. I'm gonna say like the firstborn's probably more likely to be the one that carries on the challenge. However, if the secondborn starts showing more signs of being similar to pink generation's tendencies, then I will make the secondborn the heir. All right, and it's another girl. Okay, Briar. Briar's cute because then Briar and Rose. I like that. I like that. We're gonna go with Briar. So Briarberry and Roseberry. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> I don't know who named these girls, but it was maybe it was Fox. Fox is like Briar and Rose, so cute together. They sound like princesses. Oh my gosh, we've got two twins. The next gen has officially been born. I am not ready. Neither me or Fox are ready for this day, and yet we are here. And of course, Catalina's feeling very flirty. Already just so enamored. Oh my god, I love that fit. That is so cute. And then Fox just ran. He ran because he's hungry. Catalina Catalina said hi to the babies. I think it's time to go home, but I think Catalina, we're gonna move Catalina out. Maybe they'll have like a deep conversation about it. And she's like, you know, my dreams. Maybe she wants to be like an astronaut or something. Just something that like she knows or a doctor, something where she knows like she's going to be not available for the kids and that it just won't be fair to them. And he's like, it's okay, I got this. So they're gonna have a deep conversation. Oh my gosh, are, there, are the babies already in this house? They are, they're in the parents' room. Why wouldn't you not put them in this extra bedroom? Firstly, second, why would you not give them pink bassinets? Because this is the pink gen, okay? Pink bassinets for everyone. We are gonna have a nice little sit down conversation and we're gonna talk about who's gonna take care of these children. She's gonna be like, listen, I know my dreams, what my goals are. She wants to be a Renaissance sim. She wants to be like, you know, the sim that's gonna be focusing on her career for a while. And he's like, I'm also focusing on my career, but I feel like I'm gonna have a lot more time, flexible schedule, you know, I'm gonna make my own schedule. I'm gonna be my own boss. He's not gonna say what boss of what. And yeah, I think Catalina will be moving out. So she's going to split from household and move. She's going to be leaving the children with Fox. And there's a rat in the kids room. Oh my God, Fox. Well, it is what it is. She moved out and now it's just our sweet berry boy all by himself. Ah! Fox, change their diapers. You need to figure out what's going on with these babies. He is dad now. Oh my gosh, this rat. Stop it. He's gonna obliterate this rat. He's gonna be like, not in my daughter's room, okay, please? He smells, what do you need? This is Rose, okay, and this is Briar. We need this rat out of this room. Oh my God, the rats are prevalent. Oh my God, they're crying again. They're crying again. Oh my God, this is a nightmare. This is my nightmare. Woo, we reached parenting level two in an instant because we had to. Yeah, we're gonna put a rat trap in there. Very good. He's feeling very confident. He's like, look at me. I'm a father of two, crushing it. You know, I'm ready to be a crime boss. My life is not exactly what I would have had in mind, but I am a caretaker. I am crushing this. Both of the babies are asleep. I can do this. Poor guy does not even have his parents to talk to about this. He's fine though. He's gonna crush it. He's gonna make them so many baked goods. He's gonna love the crap out of these girls. We're a little hungry. So maybe it might be time to bake some baked goods. We'll make blueberry bagels. I don't think babies can have blueberry bagels, but someday they will and they will love them. But for now it's just for us. Oh my God, my neighbor's gonna wake up the babies. I have two babies. And if you wake them up, I'm going to be livid. I'm not even eating my bagels. Look who came by to see the girls. All right, we're gonna pound on the door. Who woke up my children? Hey, can you please not with the noise? You are wearing the suit from the Joker. Can you not? Oh my God, the babies are up and they're crying. This is so stressful. Please turn the noise down. Hey, I live here too. I'm sorry your life is boring. My life is not boring. It is anything but boring. I have twin daughters that need attention. Please, Catalina, can you take care of the daughters? She is not. See, this is why Catalina did not keep the babies because the babies clearly stink and she did not change their diapers at all. And now we need to walk my 
pet really quick because my pet needs to go to the bathroom. Flame is very excited to go on the potty walk. Luckily, Catalina's there to watch the girls while we're walking Flame, but it's just like, ugh, what a pain. Luckily, the neighbor did, I think, turn down the volume. Good job, Flame, you went out potty. All right, let's go home. We can go inside and Flame can come inside too. We're gonna win over our neighbors with our baked goods. See, I'm so smart. Look, he's so confident. He's like, Dominique, see, you don't have to be loud. We can hang out. We can have a bagel, you know? We're all fine. To finish our bagel, we're gonna go to bed. There we go. We got Flame in bed, us in bed. What? My baby is up again. What do you need? What do you need, baby? What do you need? Remember when I was like, what are we gonna do for all of the days that I am waiting? This is what we're doing. We're taking care of these babies. And they are a lot of work. Okay, go back to sleep. We need to finish college. Oh my God, the other one woke up. So my nieces are twins. I have two twin nieces and they are identical twins. I feel like this happens to my sister. Like one will wake up and then the other wakes up. Flame even is like, what is going on? We're gonna bounce you. Is that what you need? What do you need? These girls are his everything. Everything is for the girls at this point. He's like, I gotta finish college so that I can take care of my daughters. He's laughing to himself. He's like, what have I gotten myself into? This is absolutely terrible. This is very not good at all. Why can't we not sleep? Sleep in your bed, dude. Both of the babies are up and they're upset. Oh my God, back up. Fatherhood never stops. We hardly get any sleep, but I think we'll be fatherhood level three very soon. There it is. Indy says, congrats on the new additions to the family. Thanks, Indy. And the girls are upset again. What do you need, Rose? A little bounce, maybe? We're having a chat with uh, Flame. He's like, you're the only one I can talk to now because I'm surrounded by children. Wow, what a change. Maybe we should go for a jog with Flame. I feel like Flame might enjoy that. Oh, we can't do a jog with Flame because Flame's an old baby. Oh, but Flame wants to play with the ball. Of course we're gonna play ball with you. How do I do that? We're gonna play ball with Flame because Flame brought the ball to me and that's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Are you ready to go get the ball? Flame did not seem interested. We're gonna go on a quick little jog. We gotta take care of our mental and physical health for also just, you know, to waste some time. The babies are sleeping, so it's a good time to go. Oh, the babies are no longer sleeping. It is no longer a good time to go for a jog. Let's go home. The babies are upset. Wow, that jog was very short. Change a dirty diaper. What do you need? Do you need a bottle? Do you need a bounce? I wish I could ask. You guys are both very upset and I don't know why. Oh my God, I class in 20 minutes. I gotta go. Please be okay. Oh my God, it's nine minutes. Can I just click go to class or will I have to travel to campus? The babies are upset and crying, but we gotta go to class. So we're going. Sorry, babies. There will be a babysitter. You can assume it is Uncle Reed that they go to Uncle Reed. He's a vicious the uncle because he married into the family now. That's so sweet. They're at Uncle Reed's house. We're back home. We did our class. We only have one more day of class. Oh, we can turn in the turn in the paper. Let's really quick go on a short walk. Actually, let's change the dirty diaper and then we're gonna go on a walk with Flame. I'm so sorry, Flame. You were kind of second to the babies at the moment, but it is what it is. All right, we're gonna take you on a little walk. There we go. Nice walkies with Flame. We didn't even get to go to work yet. It was kind of pointless to even join that career, I think. Oh, it's almost Rose's birthday and Brian. Briars? Is that tomorrow? Are you kidding me? It's tomorrow. That is wild. Oh no. We need to make a lot more money in order to afford anything for them. Like, can we even afford a bed for them? I don't know. Did you even go to the bathroom, Flame, on that walk? I hope you did. And the girls are up again. Oh my gosh. This is stressful. I'm going to leave this one here. Next episode, we'll see the girls age up. We will graduate college and we will finally be in the career. I think it took just as long, if not longer, to to do the college thing that it did get jump into the career at a higher point. I don't know if I really saved myself a lot of trouble and stress, but I did have fun, so that was the point. Let me know your guys' thoughts of maybe like who he should end up with. I have a feeling he's gonna be focusing on the girls and like not really like focusing on dating for a while, but let me know if you guys have any thoughts about that. And until next time, I'll see you guys around the internet very soon. Bye!